here at uh, the Musselboro Bay Wind Farm Control Building. Uh, work is progressing well on site. Uh, we're at the final fit out stage of the control building. The facilities module is in its final stages. We're putting the floor coverings down uh, next month. Um, the joinery has now been finished. Uh, the workshop's progressing well also. Um, the joinery has been installed there and we're now getting ready to do the floor coverings in there also. And then the switch room's complete and that's getting its final fit out done with the uh, electrical switch gear being installed at the moment. I'm Phil Jenkins, I'm the issuing officer for the transmission line on the Musrow Derby transmission line which we're building from the wind farm to Derby. At the moment we've completed 53 towers being erected, about 112 foundations completed. Um, as you can see the conditions here sometimes, we're in the wet months and it's boggy and we're having trouble with cranes and trucks getting around. My name's Jason Quinn, I'm the project manager for Consolidated Power Projects. Uh, we are the balance plant contractor for the wind farm, the electrical side, and the transmission line. Uh, currently in August, we've, uh, we've trenched and, and laid approximately 28,000 metres of cable and, uh, and con continuing through with the foundations and earthing and, and cabling there. Uh, within the substation, we've started the, uh, the civil works and within the next couple of weeks we're looking at installing steelwork and uh, construction of transformers. Attentional personnel blast guards will be firing a trench blast from pad AO8 to AO5, sending the one minute blast siren now. Over there there's a large piece of machinery which is a piling rig, uh, essentially the ground at one of our foundation points is quite sloppy and not very good for putting 1200 tonnes of concrete on top of. So what we're doing is we've made these 14 metre long concrete piles at our uh, control building area and we transported them over to this foundation turbine site. Um, this machine is um, like any rig, it can draw up the pile up into its helmet and then there's a drop hammer that comes down, hammers the pile down into the ground um, repeatedly until eventually it comes down to some better, harder material underneath and the foundation ends up essentially on stilts in that regard. We need an ultimate bearing pressure of, uh, bearing capacity I should say, of 1300 kilonewtons per pile. So there are 44 piles for this one foundation. At some point we're going to have a bit of pile sticking out of the ground that we're going to have to cut off, break out the concrete, take out the reinforcement steel from the pile and actually bend it down and it will then form part of the reinforcement cage for the foundation itself before we pour it. We're Pemmeridge Catering, we're the caterers at the Yamasaro Wind Farm. We cook for everybody on site, including the hydro management, which includes breakfast, lunch and dinner, five days a week. And we're open to the public, for the contractors and anyone who wishes to visit, Monday to Friday, from about 7 till 4 in the afternoon. 
And we try to support Tasmanian businesses and products, being Tasmanian myself. By the time we finish the project, we'll probably go through the vicinity of about 19,000 eggs and uh, about uh, 15 odd thousand bread rolls, 1.6 tonne of uh, bacon, and about 3.2 tonne of uh, specialty meats. Today we've had ABC TV and Win TV here to have a look around the site and catch up with progress. We know that they're interested to be able to report on how the project's going. So we've been able to take them around with Justin Cooper to have a look at the foundation work, in particular some pile driving, cable trenching and cable connection, the progress of the control building and back in the office complex to do a more detailed interview with Justin.